so many people accusing Hollywood right wingers, especially, of being fake and hypocrites. They're not wrong. We just have to stop the rot at the top because it affects everything. If we can get rid of that rot, we can be a free society and a better society. And I know this. We know this. That was actress and noted moral voice Rose McGowan, the Harvey Weinstein accuser, one of the leaders of the Me Too movement. Last year, she downplayed the importance of due process. She tweeted this quote, it is quite simple. Everything in Hollywood is quite simple. All who have worked with known predators should do three simple things. One, believe survivors. Two, apologize for putting your careers into wallets before what was right. Three, grab a spine and denounce. If you do not do these things, you are still moral cowards. Okay, so she drew a line in the sand. And then this, fellow Harvard Weinstein accuser Asia Argento has been accused of paying off a man she is accused of sexually assaulting when he was underage. Now, McGowan is saying something very different. Here's her new tweet, quote, none of us know the truth of the situation and I'm sure more will be revealed. Be gentle. Okay. Christina Hoff Summers is an author. She works at the American Enterprise Institute. She hosts the podcast, The Femsplainers. She's very smart. That's why she's joining us tonight. Christina, thanks a lot for coming on. So due process, I guess, looks a little more appealing when you're on the receiving end of mob justice, doesn't it? Yes, due process for me, but not for thee. <laughs> you know, we need a little consistency or it looks like hypocrisy and cronyism. Wouldn't it be easier just to stipulate, as the framers did, that everybody gets due process, even the obviously guilty, even the people who say, come on, he did it. There's a reason that we go through all these steps. It's not just kabuki. I mean, there's an actual principle worth preserving. Why does nobody say that? Well, somehow in the uh, all the excitement around the Me Too movement, we sort of lost sight of that. And it became, it came to a moment where it was so guilty because accused. And a lot of people without evidence had their reputations ruined. Now, there are people that are guilty of serious harassment yeah, and sexual predation, sure. and we have to make them accountable. But it just turns out that some of the guilty include women. So I think most of us understand intuitively that most people accuse not just of harassment, but of anything, probably guilty, but not all. Some are innocent. And it used to be that Absolutely. liberals reminded us, oh, I've been accused of something I didn't do. So I, I know that for a fact. Liberals used to remind us of that. And those of us on the right would say, oh, they're all guilty. But they're not actually all guilty. Where is the left now reminding us that due process and civil rights are, are real? They're very important. Well, it, that whole idea of due process has been lost on the college campus where we've had now by now more, hundreds of cases of young men who were subject to camp, kangaroo court justice. And there was just no one taking their side, or very few. I mean, there have been those of us out on the outside in groups like FIRE who've been making a plea for, for due process. And I actually agree with Rose McGowan that we should proceed with care in all cases. Yes, I agree. But I just wish that she'd applied that, that cons consistently. Has the fever passed, do you think? I think that the, uh, the these revelations about Asia Argento, and there's also a professor at NYU, a luminary, a feminist luminary scholar, female, yes. who has been found guilty of harassing a young male graduate student. For years, she stalked him and, uh, you know, was texting. She was obs obsessed with him. And there's some evidence that she actually, um, you know, attacked him sexually. So this, this changes a little bit the focus because this idea of believe women, you know, well, maybe you should, we should, I don't think anybody delete, deserves, you know, to be absolutely believed until we examine the evidence, but exactly. every victim should be taken seriously and treated with dignity, whether it's a man or a woman. And in the case of this NYU professor, Avital Ronell, the young man that accused her, a group of famous feminist scholars, you know, sort of gathered around and wrote a letter and said, oh, well, he's a liar and, you know, she's such an important, dignified feminist professor. How can we take him seriously? And it was astonishing to the academic community to see this kind of hypocrisy. So I think, I do believe in the Me Too movement. I think that it's an occasion 
uh, you know, there's just more consciousness about the need for more dignity and respect between men and women in the workplace and in everyday life. Uh, but it has to be something that men and women do together. And it shouldn't be that we, we treat men as the enemy and that, you know, it's, we, we look at harassment as something only men do. Um, this is a human undertaking. And I, exactly. I, I hope that this, these revelations about these women uh, harassers and predators will help us to see, to see yeah. that. I'm certainly not taking any more lectures from Rose McGowan. I've decided I'm starting now. Christina Summers, thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you.